Hi guys, I'm back for another first impression. Today I'm going to review e.l.f. Isop's Face HD Blush and the color I'm reviewing is in Superstar. Now just from the package itself, this looks very similar to Makeup Forever's HD Blush. Um, the only difference is that this one has a little bit more product. The e.l.f. contains 0.34 fluid ounces, whereas the Makeup Forever contains 0.2 fluid ounces. And the price is significantly different. e.l.f. is $3 whereas the Makeup Forever is 26 Now this isn't going to be a comparison video because I don't own the Makeup Forever. I'm sorry, I can't test it side by side, but we'll see how long this lasts. So it comes in a cute little bottle and um, a very nice convenient pump. And I'm just going to pump a little bit on my hand. That's actually quite a lot. And I'm going to use a stippling brush to apply this MAC. Uh, Darn it. I think this is the MAC 183. The number's kind of rubbed off, but it's just a stipple brush, a tiny one. You get a little bit on my brush, and I'm just gonna try to go a little at a time. Here's how much I have on my brush. This actually looks good for every day, but I am going to put a little bit more just so it's a little more camera friendly. I mean, it is HD, right? Blush. No blush, so you can kind of see the intensity of the blush. And yeah, so I'm going to even this out. I find that it's not as easy to blend. I don't know if it's because I let it sit too long on my hand and um, blending wise, I guess compared to like a cream or a powder, it's just easier and it's just smooth. Whereas if you're using a liquid or like a thicker type of liquid, it takes more time to work with. So anywho, I'm going to wear this throughout the day. It is now 2.23 p.m. I'll check back in a few hours to see what it looks like. Back for a quick update, it is now 5 p.m. and the blush actually looks the same. It looks exactly the same from when I first applied it. So, so far, so good. It feels like my regular skin, so it's nothing that's thick or cakey or anything. So, so far so good. I'll check back at the end of the night. It is 10.20 p.m. and I'm happy to say you can actually still see my blush. I do think it did fade just a little bit. Um, it was definitely more vibrant when I first put it on. There's not much I can say about this. I think it's a pretty awesome product, especially considering it's only three bucks. Hopefully they get this out on the drugstore soon because as far as I know it's only on the e.l.f. Izip's face website. So that's it for my review. Don't forget to comment below what first impression you would like to see next. Subscribe to be notified of new tutorials and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! If you're into more beauty videos, click the video on the left where I show you my signature, basically everyday look with the Lorac Pro palette. Or if you're into daily vlogs, click the video on the right where I do everyday vlogs with my husband Benji and soon to be baby Juliana.